Hey there, Louis Acabalis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can customize the site navigation menu of a Wix website, and I'll also show you how you can customize any drop-down menus that have been added to your site navigation menu, again, on a Wix website. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now what I'm going to demonstrate in this tutorial is how to customize your site navigation menu and any drop-down menus that you've added to your site navigation menu. Now you can see here on my site that I have a pretty simple navigation menu consisting of a few menu items and some drop-down menus. Now very quickly, I will preview this so you can actually see my site navigation menu in action. So you can see here when I hover my cursor over different menu items, you can see these drop down menus. Now this is what we're going to look at how to customize the actual menu and the drop down. Now, a very important note before we look at how to customize these elements, Wix refers to a site navigation menu, this element right here, as a menu container, and the drop-down menus are referred to as sub-menu containers. Links or text in your menu are referred to as menu items. Now, this is important because when you're actually customizing these different elements, you're going to need to refer to those terms, again, the menu container and the submenu container and menu items, because that's what you're actually going to see in Wix. It is important to note that your drop-down menus and your menu items, they inherit their design from the actual menu that you selected. So the easiest way to change the appearance of your menu and drop-down menus is to go ahead and change the entire style of your navigation menu. Now I'll quickly show you how to do this. And if you don't wanna change the entire style of your menu, then that's what we're going to look at uh, later in the tutorial, how to customize the different elements. Now, to change the appearance of your entire navigation menu from the site editor, what you want to do is you wanna click on the menu element as I've done here. And this is going to bring up the edit options for that specific element. Now you wanna go ahead and click on the design button, which is this little paintbrush icon. And that's going to bring up the menu design sub menu. Now you can see here in this menu that Wix provides you with a ton of templated or out of the box menu designs. So if you wanted to change the entire appearance of your menu and drop down menus, you can just go ahead and select one of these if they meet your requirements. So you can see here that I've just selected one and you can see the little blue check indicating that this has been applied. Next, I'll click on the X and I will just quickly preview my site. So you can see how my navigation menu has changed and you can see here that the drop-down menus have also changed and have now inherited the design based on that template that I selected. Now, that is the easiest way for you to change your navigation menu. But we're going to now do a very detailed walkthrough of how you can customize all of the different elements of your navigation menu. All right, now to customize your site menus, what you want to do again is you want to click on the menu element and then you wanna go ahead and click on the design icon, which is the paintbrush. This is going to bring up the menu design. Here you wanna go ahead and click on customize design. And this is where you can actually come to customize all of the different elements of your site navigation and dropdown menus. Now, the first thing that we're going to look at how to change the menu shape and style. Now, at the very top of the menu design, you'll notice here that you have these different shape options. So if you wanted to change the appearance of your menu, you can go ahead and select one of these. Now, for demonstration purposes, I'll go ahead and select the second one here. And you can see that my site navigation menu has changed. Now I will just click on preview so you can actually see what this looks like on my live site. And you can see here that my navigation menu has changed and the dropdown menus are now rectangular or as before they were oval. So that is the first thing that you can do. Again, click on your menu element, click on the design icon and click on customize design. 
and you can again change the appearance or the style of your menu just by selecting one of these shapes and you can see here that again there are a variety of different styles that you can apply. Now I will just go ahead and click undo to revert that change. Next we'll look at how to change the background color of your site menus. Now to do this you want to click into the fill color and opacity menu and this is where you can come to actually change the background color of your sub menus and your separators. Now again you'll notice the phrase or the label sub menu background that is actually referring to the drop down menus of your site and you would have noticed when I previewed my site that the background was red. Now if you want to go ahead and change the color of your drop down menus you want to go ahead and click into the color picker and this is going to display a series of options so you will see the colors associated with the theme of your site you'll see some preset colors and if you wanted to add a custom color you can go ahead and click on this add button and this is going to bring up the color definition menu where you could either just select a color or use a hex code rgb code etc now i'll just go ahead and change my drop down menu to green so i'll click apply and you can see here that it has been applied and if i wanted to actually see what this looks like i could just close out of the menu completely and now if i preview my site when i hover over one of my menu items you can see that the background color is now green so i'll go ahead and click back into my editor and again just remember you want to click on your element click on the paintbrush click on customize design and this is going to bring you into where you can actually customize the different elements of your menus now in the fill color and opacity menu the other option that you see here is the separator group now the separator refers to the lines that divide your menu items so you can see mine appear as black if i wanted to change this for example to red i could go ahead and select this and you can see here how that's changed in real time now with the submenu background and the separator, you can also change the transparency or the opacity of those lines. So you can see here that if I put it at 0%, they disappear. And if I toggle this up, they become a little bit bolder. Okay, so that's something else that you want to consider as well. All right, next we're going to look at how you can customize the corner rounding of your menus. Now before I actually show this to you, I'm just going to preview my site and I'd like you to pay attention to what my navigation menu looks like. So you can see here, I've got two rounded edges on my primary menu. And you can see here that my drop down menu has rounded corners along all four sides of the drop down menu. Now, again, to get into the customize menu menu, you want to click on your menu element. You want to click on the design button and you want to click on customize design this time you want to go ahead and click on corners and this is going to show you two options here now the first option is referring to the actual corner rounding of your main site menu so what you can see here and if i scroll down the sub menu corners refers to the corner rounding of your drop down menus so the way this works is you can actually set a pixel count for your menu corners so you can see right now it's at 555 pixels if i go ahead and change this to zero and press enter what you're going to see happen is that the rounded corners have disappeared and now my navigation menu appears as a square now i'll just go ahead and revert that change and go back into my menu here now let's say you wanted to change the corner rounding of just one corner. What you want to do is you actually want to click in the middle here on this link icon. And what that's going to do is that's actually going to allow you to put in um, values for the individual corners. So you'll notice that now when I put a zero into the upper left corner, that only that corner changes. The others have stayed at 555 pixels. And you can see here on my primary menu that the corner rounding has changed um, on the left hand side. And if I go ahead and apply zero uh, to lower left hand corner here, you can see that it's now sort of square, whereas on the right side here, it's still rounded. So 
that allows you to actually change individual corners versus locking the aspect ratio so that whatever changes you make apply to all of them. Now, the other thing you'll notice is these blue lines here kind of preview what the corner rounding looks like. And again, if I wanted to actually um, lock this so that any changes are made appropriately, I can click on this and unclick on this and it's going to uh, lock it and unlock it here. Now, I'll just go ahead and set my corners back to 555 and I will go ahead and lock it here. Now, you can also apply the same to your submenu. So it's the exact same process, same steps. If you want to unlock the aspect ratio so that you can customize just one corner, you want to click on the middle. And if you want to lock it, you can click on it again. Uh, and if you unlock it or lock it and make a change to a value, it's going to apply to your drop down menu. Now I'll just go ahead and preview this change that I've made. And you can see here the upper left corner is a right angle, whereas all the other corners are still rounded. And that's the change that we just made. All right, the next thing that we'll look at is how to apply a shadow to your menu. Now from the menu design menu, you want to click on the shadow option. And the first thing you'll see here is enable shadow. Now I'll go ahead and toggle this off. And you can see here that my primary navigation menu had a shadow, but it disappeared. Now, just pay attention to my menu here as I toggle this back on, and you can see the subtle shadow that has been added to the navigation menu. So again, if you want to enable a shadow, toggle this on. And then the next options that you have are to adjust the angle. Now you can either just turn this dial and you can see as I do this, if you look at my menu, the shadow is adjusting, or you can just put in a value in this field here. Next, if you scroll down, you have a few different options and all of these can be adjusted by just toggling the slider or just by amending the actual pixel value. So first up is distance. And you can see as I slide this to the right, the shadow increases. Next is the size, and you can see here, this will just adjust the size of the shadow, and as I increase the slider, it just becomes larger behind the actual menu. And the last option here is blur, and that's just increasing the actual blur effect behind the shadow. Now, if you wanna actually adjust the color of your shadow, you can click into the color picker, and this is the same color picker menu that we saw earlier in the tutorial. You can just select a color, or click add to select a custom color from the color picker or using a hex code or RGB code. Now I'll just cancel out of this and close the color picker. And just like we saw with the background color, you can also adjust the actual opacity of the shadow by just toggling the slider left and right. All right, next we're going to look at how you can customize the fonts that are used in your navigation menu and your dropdown menus. Now again, to access the customize menu menu, you want to click on your menu element. Next, you wanna click on the paintbrush icon, the design button. Next, you want to click on customize design. And here you want to click into text. Now this is going to bring up a menu that will allow you to customize the text associated with your menus. Now the first option here is your theme. Now you can go ahead and click into this if you want to apply a different theme or style to your text. So you can see here, I have the option to make my text appear as a heading. So I can go ahead and click on this and you see that it is going to increase the font and appearance of the actual menu items. Now I'll click undo to revert that change. Next, you can click on the font dropdown if you want to change the font that's displayed in your menus. So for demonstration purposes, I'll go ahead and select uh, this font here, and you can see how that changes in my menu. And I will quickly preview this as well, just to display what the dropdown menus look like. So you can see here that the font will also apply to your dropdown menus. Now I'll go ahead and undo this change. And again, I'll click on my menu element, click on the design button, click on customize design and click back into text. Now, the other options you have here is the font size. So you can actually adjust the size of your font just by 
toggling the slider here or by actually entering a value. And at the very bottom of this menu, you can see you have the option to make your menu items bold or italicized. So that's how to adjust the font that is used in your navigation menu and in your drop-down menus. All right, now the last thing that we're going to look at is how to customize the appearance of your menu when you hover over it and when you click it. Now in the menu design menu, you'll notice here that you have these two options, hover and clicked. Essentially what these options are, are they allow you to customize the behavior of the menu when you hover your cursor over it and when you actually go ahead and click on a menu item. Now for starters, we'll look at the hover option. So when you click on this, what you can see here is the only option that you can adjust is the actual color when you hover over a menu item and the opacity. So again, if you wanted to change the appearance of your menu when a cursor is hovering over a specific item, you could click into the color picker, select one of these options or click into add and select a custom color. Now, what I'll do is I will just go ahead and select green and click apply and I will X out of the color picker menu. Now, in order to actually see what this looks like, I will preview my site. Now you can see here that my menu isn't green itself, but I want you to pay attention to what happens when I hover my cursor over the contact item. Now you can see here when I place my cursor over the contact item, the color changes to green. So that's what that option allows us to customize. Now you'll notice that when I place my cursor over tools and platforms, they don't change to green and that's because these are not pages in and of themselves these are drop down menus now when i place my cursor over the actual sub menu items you can see here that as i hover over these items they actually change green so that is what the hover option allows you to do is change the color when a user is hovering over the specific menu item. And again, remember it only applies to actual pages or links. It won't apply to these drop down menus um, as you can see platforms and tools. But when I actually click on these links or hover over these links, rather you can see the change. So that is how to change the appearance of your menu when the cursor is hovering over a specific item. Last, we'll look at how to change the appearance when an item is actually clicked. And again, you want to click on the clicked option here. And this is going to bring up again, a color picker and a slider for the opacity. Now you just want to go ahead and select your color from the color picker. I've already selected blue. So I'll just X out of this. And now what I'll do is I'll preview my site. Now, again, just like you saw with the hover behavior, what the clicked option is going to do is it is only going to change the color of the current page that you're on that is displayed in your menu. So I am on my home page and therefore you can see that the home menu item is blue. Now if I click on the contact page, so I've landed on this contact page and you can see here that the menu item is blue. So that is how to change the appearance of menu items when you actually click on them. All right, now everything that we've looked at up to this point in the tutorial has been focused on how to customize the navigation menu and drop down menus when your visitors are visiting your site using a desktop computer. Now, if you want to customize the appearance of your site menu and drop down menus when a user is visiting your site on a mobile device what you want to do is from the wix editor you actually want to switch into the mobile view by clicking this switch to mobile button and this is going to display your site as if you are accessing it from a mobile device now what you'll notice here is that the navigation menu scales down to a mobile menu icon. So if you wanna actually customize this, you want to click on the icon and again, click on the design option. Now you'll notice here that the approach is similar. You can actually change the style of your mobile menu by selecting from one of these out of the box templates 
or you can go ahead and click on the customize design menu and this is going to bring up a similar menu to the one that we looked at earlier in the tutorial for when you're customizing the desktop version of your menu. So you can just click into these different options and it's going to look and work the exact same way as when you're customizing the desktop menu. The only thing that I'll draw your attention to is at the top, you'll notice we don't have the clicked hover options, but rather closed and open. So if you want to customize the elements of the menu, when the menu is closed, you wanna make sure that you've selected that. And if you wanna customize how the menu appears when it's open, you wanna click on this open tab. And again, really all you can do is just change the background color um, and the actual color of the icon um, here by doing that in this menu. So that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you how you can customize the site navigation menu and drop down menus on a Wix website. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.